Maybe you're here today and you're a parent. One of the greatest things that you can do for your children is pray for your children. One of the greatest things that you can do is pray for your family. I love what Mark Madison says. He says, you may not be a perfect parent, but you can certainly be a praying parent, right? And one of the things that we can do is bring our kids to the Lord and pray and intercess for them, right? Call out to God on behalf of our families. Maybe some of you are here today because somebody prayed for you. You had a mother who prayed for you. You had a father who prayed for you. You had a family member who prayed for you today. Maybe you had a wife who prayed for you. Maybe she prayed for you for years and years and years and years. But you're here today and God's done something in your heart and something in your life. And it just didn't happen, but people intercessed on your behalf, called out to God, prayed to God, lifted your name up and asked God, begged God to do something in your heart and life. Then there is power in prayer. Right? We talk about prayer. Prayer is kind of like a, a spare tire at times. We only pull it out when we need it. When things are bad, when things go wrong, we pull it out and we can go to God. And that's a great resource that we have. We know that in our time of trouble, in our time of need, that we can go to the Lord. But man, there is power in prayer. God desires the prayers of his people. God wants to move at, at, and, and God wants to work in our hearts and lives. But it begins with a heart that seeks God and desires to have God move. 